Hey, what's going on guys? It's Phil, and today we're going to be looking at the Cicada, the 3M. This is a large pulse laser, three medium laser setup with five double heat sinks, two of which are in the engine, two in the right torso, and one in the left torso. One thing to notice is the armor distribution, none in the left arm, none in the right arm. I've got negative three on each leg, as well as negative five in the head. All right, guys, here we go in the Cicada 3M, large poles, three mediums. Let's go to rock it out here, show you this thing in an action. I do have the uh, large poles in the right torso for a reason, obviously going around corners, being able to engage uh, targets, stuff like that. Having a larger weapon is always nice. You could have just one medium, but what's that really going to do? So we're going to be careful here. We don't want to overexpose ourselves. We do have some targets. Just missed. Dodge that. Obviously taking some fire. There is other targets up here. Target acquired. Not going to expose myself to that. Let the bigger guys come in here. Got targets acquired. going towards Theta. New target acquired. Need to take Delta out. You let the dire wolves uh, stay on the field. Yep. <laughs> Coburn, he's like looking this way. You let these guys stay on the field and they're gonna wreck your face. Not working to let them do. Harass them as much as we can. New target acquired. New target acquired. Even if it's, you know, I'm not directly, you know, taking him out, I'm pulling him off of maybe a, a target that, you know, maybe he's focused on. Maybe I save a friendly from taking a hit or two. You know, that does mean a lot in the grand scheme of things. So just your tactics, you know, being sort of annoying sometimes, being harassing. You may not uh, deliver the final blow. You may not even do a whole lot of damage, but just maybe you taking his eyes off of someone else will change the course of the battle. Just keep that in mind. You know, it doesn't always happen. That's not always the case, but, you know, sometimes. see we got uh, some targets over here that I need to be careful of and support if I can I definitely don't want to fight against uh, a streak boat so I'm gonna actually get out of here Don't want to fight against that thing, or at least not directly. All those streak sixes, but what I can do is I can help take him down. Got an Atlas coming in here as well behind him. Good news is I can drop down, give ECM support right now, and that'll provide my uh, friendly some extra coverage. Not being able to be locked on to, enemies doesn't know the uh, the damage readouts of my friendlies. It may not seem like a whole lot, but that does matter in the, the grand scheme of things. Again, it's all these little things, right? Just popped a UAV there. I'm going to take the high ground here. Don't stop moving. Those dire wolves, man, you allow them. Ooh, here we go. I'm gonna go after this. Uh, Kilo's not even hurt. I'm gonna go after Echo here. Just locked in on the friendlies. That guy's annoyed with me. So, alright. Just keeping lock ons. CT's opening up on him. 
Watching Seismic, we're good on uh, caps as well. Every little bit counts. I do have a Shadow Hawk move in my direction. And there it goes. I'm gonna go to press up here, provide ECM for my friendlies. This is still in the fight here. We're not guaranteed the win here, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and press up here in the rear with the gear. Lock on to targets, maybe. Provide some. Uh, he's hoping I back off. He doesn't want me to sit here and engage. Now he's about to die. He's down. We're going for the flank here. And that is it. As you can see, very effective at doing what it's doing. Uh, look at the weapon ranges. 383 on the large pulse. 297 on the medium lasers. Works out really well, and you can you can really harass with those ranges. And again, it's just moving around, right? Paying attention to where you are, where your friendlies are, where you need to be just providing ECM cover, not to mention just your positioning and doing damage. Um, you know, you let those dire wolves stay in the fight, and uh, they're going to do a lot of damage. You can see here, uh, 1,100 damage from uh, Coburn. Really great job by him. And he was able to just, just do massive amounts of damage. Maybe, just maybe my little pokes here and there kept him from rolling our team and uh, pushing just right over that, that right over that horizon of damage. Anyways, good game to the enemy team. Could have won either way. And good job to my team for sticking that fight. Alright guys, check this out. Let me know what you think. Until next time, Mech Warriors.